Still gaming on a five-year-old motherboard in 2025? It's probably time for an upgrade. Today's boards do way more than just hold your parts. They impact performance, features, and future upgrades. With AMD's AM5 finally solid E and Intel's Arrow Lake in the mix, picking the right MOBO matters more than ever. I've tested the top boards of the year. Here are the ones actually worth building around. Let's dive in. Let's kick things off with a surprise contender. The ASRock B850 Steel Legend Wi-Fi is proof that you don't need to throw half your budget at a motherboard just to stay current. It supports AMD's Ryzen 7000 and 9000 series chips, ROCK's full PCIe 5.0 support for both GPU and SSDs, and even includes Wi-Fi 7 out of the box. And yeah, it's a budget board. You're not getting premium VRMs or Thunderbolt 4, but you are getting an incredibly functional, clean-looking AM5 board that can run a Ryzen 7800X3D or even a 9900X without flinching. It comes in a sleek, white and gray colorway that looks great in themed builds, and even packs four M2 slots. I built a compact system using this board for a friend. He games, edits, and streams, and the thing's been rock solid since day one. Honestly, if you're building a clean, capable Ryzen rig on a budget, this board is a no-brainer. If you've got a bit more wiggle room in your budget, the Gigabyte X670 Aorus Elite AX is the definition of smart spend. It's built for AMD's latest CPUs, and while it doesn't go full Gen 5 for GPUs, it does include PCIe 5.0 for SSDs, plus four M2 slots, solid VRMs, and Wi-Fi 6E. What makes it shine is balance. You're not overpaying for features you won't use, but you're also not cutting corners. It's ready for high-end chips like the Ryzen 9 7950X, has a clean BIOS layout, and Gigabyte's USB connectivity is excellent. This board doesn't try to be flashy. It just quietly delivers performance, day in, day out. It's the kind of motherboard that disappears into the background in the best way possible. If you're going all in on a next-gen AMD build, the MSI MAG X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi might be your new favorite board. This thing is stacked. Support for Ryzen 9000 series? Check. PCIe 5.0 for both GPU and storage? Yep. 21 USB ports, including dual USB 4? You bet. It even comes with Wi-Fi 7, a strong VRM design, and four M2 slots two of them Gen 5. What really sold me on this one is how well it handles higher-end CPUs under load. I stress-tested a Ryzen 9 9900X with PBO enabled for hours, and temps stayed perfectly stable. The layout's clean, it's super builder-friendly, and it feels way more premium than its $300-ish price tag suggests. If you want something that'll stay relevant for the next five years, especially as AM5 continues to evolve, this is the one. Intel fans, this one's for you. The Asus Arage Maximus Z890 Hero is the kind of motherboard that makes you want to start a build from scratch just so you can use it. We're talking LGA 1851 socket support for Intel's new Arrow Lake CPUs, 6 M2 slots, dual PCIe Gen 5, Thunderbolt 4, Wi-Fi 7, 5G LAN, the list doesn't end. Asus also nails the build quality here. Everything is reinforced, the VRMs are overbuilt, and the BIOS is exactly what you'd expect from a raw G-board. Smooth, deep, and tweakable to the max. Now look, it's expensive. Like, this might cost more than your GPU expensive. But if you're doing high-end gaming, 4K video editing, or running a multi-device setup with fast storage and a powerful CPU, this thing is more than just a luxury. It's a weapon. It's overkill. And sometimes, overkill is the point. All right, let's wrap this up with the board I recommend to almost everyone, the MSI Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. Why? Because it just makes sense. It supports Intel 12th to 14th gen CPUs, handles DDR5 up to 7200 megahertz, gives you four M2 slots, PCIe 4.0, full PCIe 5.0 for your GPU, Wi-Fi 6E, 2.5G LAN, and one of the cleanest BIOS experiences on the market. It's not trying to be flashy. It's not trying to reinvent the wheel. It just works. Whether you're running a Core i5 or pushing a 114900K, this board holds steady. I've used it in multiple builds now, from budget-friendly setups to full-on 4090 rigs, and it handles everything like a champ. No, it doesn't support Gen 5 SSDs. But unless you're chasing benchmark numbers, you won't notice the difference. At just over $300, it's hands down the most reliable, well-rounded, and builder-friendly Intel board in 2025. 
And there you go. Those are the motherboards that are actually worth building around in 2025. Whether you're Team Ryzen, Team Intel, or just want something that won't crash on you mid-session, there's a board here that'll fit the bill. So what's going in your next rig? Are you leaning AMD? Tempted by Z890? Or maybe you've got a sleeper pick I didn't cover? Drop it in the comments. Let's talk hardware. And hey, if this helped you out, give it a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Build smart. Game sharp. Stay crispy.